Hey fellas, how you doing? It's the afternoon. I'm uh, done with my fireman's care. Um, about almost 9,000 steps into the day. And I am going to title this video as like part two of the war on men. There are, there is the catchies on high alert. And there is Bella. Bella as always seems to be in, in the way. Um, this one here just woke up. This one here wants something from me. So I'm gonna show you. I found the. Um, I found. I think most of the. Yeah, don't mind me. I found most of the uh, things I wanted to do. Here is the uh, for these people. Um, and this video is going to be uh, part two to the war on men. It is unbelievable that this can happen without any pushback from any okay hang on all right bella please all right anyways it's unbelievable that this kind of stuff can happen with no pushback from uh, uh regular guys uh, and you know what first of all let me stop and say you know what i owe uh, mr anderson Apology, and he, you're 100% correct. I should have never said that about money. Um, it's always easy for those of us who have gotten to a certain point, waxing, looking back like, oh, yeah, so, you know, you're right. You're absolutely right. And so I apologize. I shouldn't have said that, and that was pretty. that was a pretty ignorant thing for me to say. So moving on, I've been diving through this site. And they are trying to make it illegal for men to disagree with women. They're trying to say that the potential, which is not really doing something, and you can make someone guilty of potentially doing anything. There they are, the cats. So they're saying that because men, uh, they're trying to get to the point to where they're saying that men are potentially so violent that they must be controlled. And if you do not get out of or agree with that the Manosphere, the Red Pill Society, and that the MGTO, and they really don't like, I'll, I'll put a, put the, uh, the, DivertingHate.org. I mean, that's a great tagline, but it's an absolute gaslight because they're using this supposed hate that men have for women, and they're trying to like say it's it's commonplace in the United States. It's just absolutely in pure insanity. Um, they don't take into they never take into context how many women are absolutely insane. And the crazy things that they do, burn guys in their bed, cut their penises off, uh, stab them, uh, set them on fire. They never, they don't want to talk about any of that. They're blind to all of that. All they are is they have these blinders on and they're completely focused on, on the horrible, horrible men. And they never, you will never hear them talk about, well, you know what? In some cases, it is justified that after a guy gets his life completely destroyed, he loses his children, loses his job because he said he beat a woman. She doesn't have to have proof. All she has to have is allegations. All they have to do is look across at that guy, and you know what? He looks guilty. I've been in court. I've spent years, probably at least a decade, in and out of federal and local courts, arguing cases and the rest of that stuff. It's, and and what they're doing, what they're doing is, okay, she's gone. All right. What they're doing is they're trying to make it okay. They're trying to say that if you're not in this part, this group of men, this group of, go away. If you're not in this part of at this group of men, then you're guilty somehow of, of what? Of being a 
misogynist. Well, what about misandrist? What about women that hate men? How many times do you get to hear on YouTube in all of these videos that they hate men? I hate men. They'll do anything. They'll lie, cheat, and steal. But it's only one-sided. And of course it's a group of women that are leading this diverting hate. And of course they got a simp to help them out. It is unbelievable that this, this is going on. I'll put the link in there. I, I just... To me, it's disgusting. It's disgusting that you can try to put men in a box. And then if they're telling you, if you don't do exactly what we say, we're going to label you a misogynist. And then you know what? You know what? I think you got a mental problem. You can argue all day. No, I don't have an argument. Well, there it is. Don't get, are you getting upset? Hey, don't, don't get upset. No, I'm not upset. I just want you to stop acting like I have a problem. No, calm down. You know, you know, because calm down always works. <laughs> I think that's probably one of the most horrible phrases you can ever... Anyways. Uh, I'll put the stuff in there. And... You know what? Here's another thing. I just want to give you guys a shout out. I'm not above being corrected. I'm not above somebody telling me that I made a mistake, and I don't, I, it just helps me get better, I'm not offended by that, I'm not like, oh, who are you to tell me, no, that's, that's not how I roll, I'm glad to be where I'm at, and sometimes I forgot what it, sometimes I forget what it took to get here, all right, love you guys, I'll put this stuff in there, but for all intents and purposes, from what I gathered from their website and the uh, paper that they put out, they're trying to, if not, they if not, if they haven't already done it, they're already tracking people that are in the manosphere, in the red pill community, men who, especially in the Migmato, because they're automatically saying that if. Uh, you're a man that goes his man who goes his own way because he's been screwed over. You you most likely hate women. Now their stats, anyways, they don't they don't have any empirical evidence. They don't have any objective evidence. And when they point to stuff and you go and you look at where that article came from, it came from a anyway. There's a war on men. Um, I'm going to do what I can to promote and help men. But can you imagine how much sympathy and empathy a woman would get on there and say that, you know what, uh, he took my children from me. He took my house from me. I lost my job because of him. You know, can't think. come on now. Come on now. It's just, it's unbelievable how these things get started and it's done surreptitiously or it's it's hatched in darkness to where they can just come out of nowhere and lambaste you for it so i'll attach the uh, website to it and a couple other videos from guys it's it's unbelievable how much animosity and true hate you can find it anywhere. How women just, I hate men. Anyway, I'm, uh, I think I'm beating this dead horse. Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, you have to take care of yourself. I can't find any references for their, uh, and they have, uh, you go to the home page and it says home research. And then, of course, it has a spot for you to donate. Uh, stay informed. In order to, you have to join your subscriber list. It's just, it's just, they're just technology created to connect us. Connect us all is drunk. Connect technology created to connect us all is driving us apart. And then I just, yeah, man, of course, CNN, Wall Street Journal, anyways, featured in there. Come on now. Anyways, there, uh, Middlebury College, of course, the McCain, the McCain Institute in Bedrock. So, 
I'll put the uh, website in there. I'm just, the more I dig into it, the, the more I'm embarrassed that I didn't know more about this. And again, you know what? Thank you, Mr. Anderson. All the rest of you guys, I'm not above reproach. And what he did is he said, he all he did is he told me, he said, it's usually easy for guys who've already got a lot of money to talk about, you know, maybe things, you know, and he's right. He's absolutely right. I remember working two jobs. I remember when there was more month than money. Um, no. Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, take care of yourself. One of the biggest things you have to understand as a man is that your enemies are actively seeking to tear you down. And the more you know about them, the more you can be aware of what they're doing, it makes it easier to counteract them. All right? Like a fort in G-string, West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.